So she must have been. You say if you have been sent to fire, means delivery must be very special indeed. For your eyes only, straight from Bruma. Don't suppose you've heard what's been going on in Cyrodiil these last couple of years? Not my problem. Not heard from young Rigmore then? Not a word. I'm guessing the letter is from her. Not this one. Although I do know Rigmore did try to write. I never received anything. I just assumed she moved on with her life, mate. This quest is after... Okay, whatever. Yeah, well, the letter's never got returned. So it's worth checking out if they're buried at the border post somewhere. You'll have to go there anyway, to acquire the pass from the official. Border post? <laughs> That's why they sent me. You'd better read this. Alright. I think this quest is to do with Rigmore and Cyrodiil, because I haven't done but we'll, we'll get to that in later on, come on. We'll get there. Um, that's the moon star quest, never mind. What letter did you just give me? Oh, this one. No, that's not it. What was it the one he gave me to? I have no fucking clue. Oh, fuck, he put it down there, didn't he? <laughs> didn't even see it. Dragonborn, if you are reading this, then we have at last managed to find you. You must have heard of the recent events in Cyrodiil, and although some stability has returned, freedom has not. We must speak in private, and certain names have been omitted in this correspondence. But I am sure you know to whom I am referring. No fucking idea. She did try to write you, but you could not be located and gave up on ever seeing you again. I don't think she ever got over losing you, but she is fine and well and has moved on. You know her. Never one to sit still. Always looking for trouble if it doesn't find her first. And trouble has found her. Of course she just waves it off, talks tough. And I do realize you have moved on with your life. But I have no choice but to contact you for help. We fear she is in grave danger, Dragonborn. Please come to visit us at our residence so we can talk further. Show the border guards the official pass. Sigan of Bruma. Alright. Yeah, because that's this is 201, and that is 20. So this is like four years. That so yeah, we need to do this quest last because it, the timeline just doesn't make sense. So whatever. What kind of crap has she gotten herself into this time? These days, with the border locked down, it's near impossible to get anything through. You must get the official border pass to enter Cyrodiil. If anyone tells you otherwise, or offers a way over for coin, be wary of them. Very wary. That's if you decide to respond, of course. Don't worry, I'll get the pass. Must be like a blast from the past, right? More like a blast from the future. <laughs> Have you seen Brigmore lately? Do you know how she's getting on? <laughs> uh, yeah, well... <clears throat> All will be revealed, Dragonborn. All will be revealed. Alright. Why is it I feel my stomach churn every time you say that? <laughs> Let's see. Foreboding? That's it. Yes, foreboding. As in something bad is about to happen. I'm sure it's nothing you can't handle. Must be important, seeing as you ain't had no contact with anyone from back then in a foo. Just keep your weapon in your pocket. And try not to whip it out. You'll be fine. Alright, you're joking, right? Cyrodiil ain't like here. They's all civilised. Got a big thing about it, apparently. But something ain't right. I can feel it in me water light. There was nothing civilised about what I saw crossing the border. Hmm. What did you see, Sephiroth? Just you make sure that you keep a cool head. You'll see. Oh god, don't tell me the, um, uh, fucking Falmar from Vader or some shit. <laughs> what is it? So tell me, what have you been up to since I last saw you? Oh, bit of this, bit of that. Still living at the old farmhouse on the lake. I tried renting one of the rooms to make a bit of coin, but they don't stay long. I don't know why. Huh. Oh, I can think of a few reasons. As it happens, I'm going on a kind of pilgrimage to Winterhold, to the shrine of my mistress Azura. There's a pretty young thing there has took a bit of a shine to me. 
a run here, her name is. So I'll be taking my leave and seeing as how far I can get my feet under the table with Miss Lanith and try warming her up a bit. <laughs> with a bit of luck, I'm hoping to coax her down from the mountain and into me little old farm. Fair enough. Well, good luck with that. It's good to see you again, Sephiroth. Likewise, Dragonborn. Likewise. It's good to see you too again, my friend. Now then, my part in this is done, and I have a date with destiny. So until next time, Dragonborn. I wonder if we um we we'll see him if we go out to the shrine of Sura. But say story wise, this this conversation happened in the future, and the Dragonborn is seen the future or we'll say. But um yeah. <laughs> Because um, otherwise that would make no sense if um, we saw him. Yeah, well, well, but we'll do that at some point. We'll, we'll, we'll leave this for now. We'll leave that for now. And there's that other quest, but we'll do that later. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. If it's work you need. How about chopping up some wood for the fires? I'm fucking fain, how dare you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Heard any rumors lately? Have you seen that shrine of Asura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Alright, shall we look at some point? Any more rumors? I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big tree, all burnt up, in the middle of the Wind District? It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Tanika to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. All right. People say there is someone in Riften right, that cool. can change your face, make you look completely different. Um, do you believe that? Of course. I'll just see if there's anything um, bounties wise we can do. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Yarl's men came by and Not left some. us a bounty left. We'll probably go that way anyway, unless we go the other way, but I mm, now nah, we we go um the northeast way to um towards East March, then drop south. I think, yeah, that's my plan anyway. Need anything else? Just let me know. Where's um the red guard woman? I'm looking for her. Where she's I don't know. She's not here. It's an assassin tree for a minute. <laughs> And watch me fall. Ah, shit. <laughs> we'll go forward in time of it. If it's you see those warriors from Hammerfell, they've got curved swords. Curved swords. <laughs> Speaking of people from, I, I can't ask again. Need anything else? Just let me know. Oh, hello. <laughs> if it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once me Kyle gets them, they're got. I'm a bard, trained at the Bard's College okay, well. in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think You've been flying. seen in the company of the Some companion. advice? That's an honorable path you're on, friend. Thank you. Now, where is this woman? Ah. Is there something I can do for you? That skull is not nice. Do you know some Alica woman... <laughs> Fuck's sake. Ah! <laughs> do you know some Alakir warriors are looking for a red guard woman? Are you sure? Uh-huh. Oh no. They found me? I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Okay. Quickly, come with me. I've got your back. Wait here. I will remain on guard here. So, are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. I'll, I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. Relax. I'm not going to hurt you. Then I need your help. And there isn't anyone else I can trust here in the city. Maybe. Would you want? I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, 
They are assassins in the employ of the Almeri Dominion. Oh, they wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. Hmm. How am I supposed to get rid of them? They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. Okay. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me. So you'll have to find out where they are. Fair enough. Any suggestions how to f how I find them? I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Okay. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. Fair enough. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. I mean, the Alakir are an employer of the Almeri Dominion, our sworn enemies. Let's... <laughs> From a story perspective, they killed uh, my character's parents, or Lionel's parents. Don't give a shit, but okay. So yeah, fuck them. <laughs> we shall hear out the man before we take off his head, but other than that... It's a shame, isn't it? I can't interact with you, but okay. I still can't interact. Do you know what? We'll come back to the Guild of Green Thing later. <laughs> Considering going that sort of general direction, we shall. So I'm very organised in this game. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've had this. I've had plenty of years of experience with this game. So yeah. Let's go speak to this prisoner. I know you. I don't. What are you looking at? I need to find Kamatu. Where is he hiding? Kamatu sounds very much like an Egyptian name. <laughs> you have a death wish then? If you know that name, you must know to meet him would be to meet your end. But it seems we both have needs, friend. Perhaps we can help each other out. What is it you need? I have dishonored my brothers by being captured. And so they have left me here. My life with the Alakir is over now. But I have no wish to die in this god's forsaken land. If I can be released from prison, I may start over. Fair enough. See to that, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Why did they leave you here? Because I was clumsy enough to be captured. Kamatu always says, we're supposed to be the best of the best. I wasn't. How much to pay your fine? 100 gold will secure my release. You can afford that, can't you? I suppose you'd better hope you can, if you want the information. Get the money into the hands of one of these guards, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Until next time. Wait. I know you. Hey, there's no mistake. Oh boy. You're a wanted man and it's time to pay for your crimes. <sighs> we have quite a few options actually. I'm a Yarl's Thane. I don't mind to let me get it once. Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time. Even the Yarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful. I'm trying to look for the. I trust the days found you well, Thane. Um. I want to pay that prisoner's fine. Done. Convince him to stay out of the city while you're at it. Fair enough. So. Hello, can you come over here, please? Thank you. Let's talk about how we can help each other out. You buy my way out of I've here. I've done that. And I'll tell you what you want to know. Very well. Kamatu is west of Whiterun. It's an unassuming little cave called Swindler's Den. You realize if you set foot in there, you're never coming back out. They'll kill you. We shall see. But that's your problem, not mine. Guard! My fine's been paid, now set me free! About the, um, Kamatu's end Sorry. in there. My ears aren't so good. You say something? I said my fine has been paid, now let me out! Right, right. Oh, look at that. I seem to have lost my keys. 
Might take me a while to find them. You just sit tight. I'll get around to it eventually. <laughs> Damn out of here, bastards. <laughs> you foul more bitches of the foul more. You foul more? Foul more? Whatever. Alright, where is this fucker? Let's go murder him. Let's go right over there. Ah! Ah! Oh god, the messages are hiding not too much. That's over. Oh, fuck, it's over there. Do that. Uh, okay, the shrine of Stendo was that? Oh, good. I'm not going up there. <laughs> good lord. We go there later. Uh, well, that's already on there. We do that at some point. That's down there. We can actually. No, nah, we don't need to do that anyway. Wait a minute, we'll go kill, um, Tomato, I guess. Tomato? <laughs> He's... Uh, this game. Alright. We'll travel over here. I believe, um... I believe Tomato actually offers me something, or says that they're not the, with the Valmar or something, which were considerably really options, I guess. And it's rain, wonderful. Uh, why is there a kid out here? <laughs> um, hi, horse. What the? What are you doing out here? What am I doing here? I was going to ask you the same question. I'm training, if you didn't notice. Mother forbids me to even touch a real weapon. But I'm almost a grown man. I can handle myself. Meh. Do you want to be a fighter, eh? My father was a war hero. It's true. All the villagers know his tales. I want to be just like him. Stronger. Tougher. You need a teacher. Maybe I can show you how to defend yourself. You'll show me how to fight? Seriously? Wow, that's wonderful! Yes, I'm sure. Now, where should I take you? Great! I knew you were an awesome person. I... I saw a notice in my village. It seems bandits are holding up somewhere nearby. Here, I'll show you on your map. Take me there and teach me how to fight. Where's this? That's over there. Oh, we're in the same direction, so we're... Go up there, yes. Well, we're sort of going that area, so there you go. We get my horse and hop over. And off. Yeah! <laughs> of course. Compared to the horse in Red Dead Redemption 2, it's really shit. <laughs> ah, whatever, sorry. It's, it does the job. There's a cave over here. Is that boy falling now? Not sure. Oh, fuck. I... Ah, Lydia, I forgot to. Tell her to come out. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, oh, we're fine. Go grab her later. It's fine. It's all fine. Over there, oh, that's it. Something cute. It's over here, isn't it? This place we're going to. It's rather big. So this is a place where the guy's like, oh, you fall in my trap or some bollocks. You probably shouldn't stand there, mate. Because now you're dead. <laughs> Idiot. Idiot! So <laughs> I can say. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button on the right to keep updated for future content. Have a fantastic day and a fantastic life.